my mind. Listen to this. I recorded it a little while ago. If you're hearing this, we could use some help. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. Here's the coordinates. I'm on the move. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little. Hey, there's something weird coming over the radio. It's really strong, like it's super close by. Here, listen. This is Cleo. Ordering DC. 1 1 Tango Mike Papa. 2 5 Charlie Zero 5 Romeo. This is Cleo. Ordering DC. 1 1 Tango Mike. It just goes on like that. Can you keep an eye out for something like a transmitter or a beacon? I don't know what you're looking for. All due respect, Your Honor, we're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I'm sorry. What exactly happened in the United States when I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The army's camped just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right. Well, thanks for the offer. But we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. 